Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory! And my friends, it is spooky season! Spooky skeleton season, which means that we have been digging up more dog bones that we are going to need to do a little bit of genetic testing on in order to go ahead and mix and match some of the curious creature genetics to create some curious creature crossbreeds here in our lab today. And I'm so excited, you guys! I can't believe that Halloween has actually snuck up on me again this year, which is kind of ironic because it's my mom's birthday, but I tend to remember it as my mom's birthday rather than Halloween. But of course we're feeling the spooky season, and of course that means one of my all-time favorite ways to do our laboratory experiments. I went ahead and uh, dug up a set of dog bones, which is usually a very alarming occasion, but we don't need to fear because thankfully for this wonderful skeleton dog, it's got just a pinch of that laboratory magic, and it has its bark back! I guess I had a, fox, a little like fox voice, but what happened is I went ahead and I randomized everything about the puppers without being able to see them, and then put on this amazing skeleton dog custom content by the fabulous Kalino. I mean, look, even the shadows are skeleton shaped. She is just so freaking talented. I love it so much. But we have a mystery dog, in other words, that we are going to be crossbreeding today as we have brought this somewhat very skinny skeletal pup into our laboratory, and we are going to be mixing its genes together with Jessica, the Australian Shepherd! Isn't she so freaking cute? Oh, oh my gosh, if one of you guys have an Australian Shepherd at home, please let me know in the comments down below because I will be absolutely tickled. And I love the idea that the Australian Shepherd is just like really cute and she randomized being kind of jumpy. So I think she's a little bit nervous about this whole idea of mixing her jeans in the Petri dish with Jack the Skeleton Dog so that we can try to find out what Jack's breed is. We have no idea what type of dog he is. We have no idea what his fur looks like. He's basically a total randomized mystery. And if, you know, this being the random Pets Laboratory Challenge didn't give it away, I love random things. So all right, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and let Jack and uh, Jessica come Kind of funny that both of the names that the random generator picked were Jay. We'll let them play in the puppy play yard and get to know each other. I think Jessica is actually a very adventurous dog, so I think once she gets over her shock of, you know, Jack not having any fur, then she'll be very willing to go ahead and play with them. And uh, we're gonna pull out a little petri dish now, and you guys are gonna help me mix and match these jeans so that we can petri dish puppies would be. <gasps> Jessica, is this what your puppy would look like? Oh my gosh, remind me to do some more Australian Shepherd crossbreeds in the future because this is so cute. Look at you, you're so adorable. Oh my gosh. All right, this is gonna be fantastic. Let's take Jessica and now we will add Jack's skeletal jeans and we're gonna see which puppy we're gonna get from the Petri dishes. <gasps> okay, that's really freaking cute. Even with the demon eyes. I mean, I guess we are kind of reviving a skeleton, so getting some demon eyes is just all in fair game. But guys, welcome to little Jaslyn. Jaslyn, thank you so much for jumping into our laboratory experiments. I'm so glad that you are enjoying them. And Jaslyn, um, I don't think you can produce dairy, so I'm gonna randomize again. But you are going to be an independent hunter who is an adventurous little pup. And as usual, you guys, if you want to end up becoming one of the absolutely adorable little crossbreeds that we have in our laboratory experiments, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the random comments generator just might pick you. And then you could be an adorable little mystery skeleton dog Australian Shepherd crossbreed, which actually turns out far cuter than you could ever imagine. But this is, this is kind of helpful. But I actually feel like Jaslyn got all of Jessica, her mother's, like, Australian Shepherd jeans. Does, let's see, yeah, long tail? Like, everything about her basically looks like her mom except for the demon eyes. So will we get some of the dad's mystery jeans on this next little Petri bow? Let me pull up the next comment. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull up. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Summer! Oh my gosh, look at this cool pattern. I think this is the Australian Shepherd pattern, but we have different ears. 
We have up ears this time. We have a curly tail this time, which is new. And this is actually going to be Summer, who has been enjoying a whole bunch of the different dragon books that you've been reading. You guys, I think you are finally going to make me read Wings of Dragons. Uh, like, a dr Wings of Fire, oh my gosh, sorry. Because I've been thinking all about dragons, especially with that new movie coming out for like the world of Burke and all of the dragons from How to Train Your Dragon. I really need to get into that. So Eternal Summer, welcome, welcome. In fact, we'll give you your full name because that's kind of an amazing name. I take it Summer is your favorite season or your name might actually be Summer, in which case it, you would eternally be known as Summer. All right, you are a friendly, adventurous, and smart little one who might be giving away some of your dad's genetics here. This time, definitely mom's eyes, but dad's genes as a mystery skeleton dog. His bones were brought to us, to the lab, to analyze, and we have given him new life and new legacy. So I think he's quite happy about that. Uh, but I think we're seeing a little bit of what little Jack might be. So we'll keep an eye on that. And let's pull up the next Petri dish pup. I love mysteries of- Oh my gosh, we need to do so many more Australian Shepherd mixes. They are so cute. But I love working with the mysteries of actually having a skeleton dog around because we don't know what the coloration is. We don't know what the breed is. And this is going to be Natasha. And Natasha, you have a completely different snout and ears and body and you're all brown. So that makes me wonder what Jack might be. We'll be able to recreate his genetics and remove his skeleton design so we can actually take from the puppies once we have all of them some of their parents genetics and we'll be able to recombine it and we will actually see what Jack looks like at the end don't worry guys but for now Natasha welcome welcome and you suggest rain wing and a cat so you want me to try to crossbreed a cat and a dragon huh hmm might take a little bit of doing but I think the big cats I could work with and Natasha, you are an active, loyal, vocal little one who definitely is giving away a lot about your dad and you have your mom's eyes again. Okay, okay. I think pointy ears and smooth fur on this next one. So I, or on the skeleton dog, Jack. That's what I'm thinking he has. Oh my gosh, Cookie! Cookie, you're so cute! Oh wow! Okay, yeah, Australian Shepherds in the mix absolutely happening oh my gosh cookie look at you i think maybe the australian shepherd jeans are just going to completely override anything our skeleton dog is offering but i'm not complaining because these are cute puppies cookie you are an adventurous glutton who is a bit of a hunter hmm so you're actually determined to go out there and hunt your own stuff huh all right i think jessica is thrilled with her puppies and having a great time playing with them and Jack the skeleton dog is happy that his lineage has not been forgotten. And now we're going to have Wolf Spirit. Wolf Spirit, welcome. I think you are definitely hinting at a little bit of a magic mix in your dad there. Talk about like, okay, so we have some brown patterning. Got it, okay. I wonder if maybe we've got like some wolf genes going on in our skeleton dog, but he's very small. I'm thinking not really a corgi. Maybe he's just like a mix. All right, so you are an active, independent, and hairy little one, Wolf Spirit. And probably, I think like the first boy that has like randomized in. So welcome to the, the puppy play yard. I hope you play well with your siblings and it'll be interesting to see what he grows up into. All right, and then the final of our Petri dish puppy mystery skeleton dog background is going to be Panda! Oh, what? Yellow! Okay, that absolutely has to come from our mystery skeleton dad. So Panda, welcome! You too have that smooth fur um, that you probably can't produce wool from. Sorry about that, my dear. Okay, got a random. No, not dairy either. Not dairy either. Come on, not dairy. Oh my gosh. Not with the wool either. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. You are indeed very stubborn, Panda, so that's good for you. Stubborn and playful and friendly. Oh, what a lovely mix that is. Oh, look at them. So, all right, you guys, now that we have our puppies, kind of split three for three. So half of them look maybe like their mystery dad, Jack. I'm really intrigued by this line of yellow we have back here. 
And then half of them, including Cookie, look like their mother, who is a really, really beautiful Australian Shepherd. And Eternal Summer has like a different fur mix. So let's grow these guys up. And once they are all grown up, we are going to reveal what the mystery skeleton dog actually looks like. So let's do this. Jaslyn, you're up first. Jaslyn, you're gorgeous. You're absolutely your mother's daughter. Like, I think everything about you is literally like your mother, except for your eyes. Yeah, a little bit about the face change, the ear position changed a tiny bit, and she still has those demon eyes, but it will just help her to be able to, you know, keep everybody safe at night. We don't need to worry about that. So gorgeous. Australian Shepherd all the way, though. Eternal Summer. <gasps> Eternal Summer, you're so small. You're so small and cute, and your face reminds me of peaches for some reason. And look at your tail. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I did not expect this kind of mix out of you. What? Ah, oh, that, that right there, my friends, is the wonders and the mysteries of genetics. You just never know what's going to pop up. Natasha, are you going to surprise us? Oh dear. Okay, Natasha, you can't have a dragon tail. <laughs> Dragons is like one of our next things, okay, my dear? But I'll randomize you a normal tail, I think. Here, we'll randomize you this tail instead. Natasha, you're precious. You look like a giant bunny rabbit. Look at her ears. They have little tiny darker brown spots on the tips. Oh, and she's got little spots down her back. And I like the tail we randomized for her. Oh, wow. I think we have some very pointy ears on, on Jack the mystery dog. And then Cookie, what are you gonna grow up to be? I'm so curious to see. Oh, she's beautiful, you guys. I love this coloring. And Cookie, you can't have a dragon tail, my dear, so we're gonna randomize until you don't. There we go. Cookie, mwah, classic Australian Shepherd sort of look. You would never know that, you know, we got half her genetics from a mysterious skeleton. But Wolf Spirit, you might be changing things up. Oh my gosh. And yes, indeed, you are. I'm going to have to randomize it. You actually don't have a tail because we couldn't do the dragon tail. But that's a mix of maybe mystery dad and mom's like Australian shepherd features for sure. Which leaves just little panda. Panda. Oh, panda, you're so small. And you have the funky little cute tail too. And she's got the little folded ears and the yellow stripe down the back. And she's so cute, you guys. Welcome to Panda, to the family. Wow. So, all right, friends. Now, let's look over carefully. With all of the genetic information we were able to collect from our Petri dish pups, what do you think we are going to actually have for our skeleton dog? We can now go ahead... And we're actually going to <clears throat> remove the pet clothing custom content, uh, reconstruct the genetic profile, and reveal Jack as none other than this puppy! Look at him! He actually looks a lot more like a wild dog than I was expecting. He even looks like he's got a little bit of fox in him. Oh, look at you! So he was created by literally randomizing everything, and that's how we got our skeleton dog. But now we know what he would look like, you guys. Oh, I love doing the skeleton dog mixes. We'll definitely have to pop another one of those in because it is indeed a spooky season in the lab. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. I think Eternal Summer is the one who surprised me the most. She literally looks like somebody played in Peaches. She's so pretty. If you guys could, do leave a whole bunch of suggestions for future crossbreed mixes down below. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.